Well, there's a lot of different ways to get Becky down. Mm -hmm. um, that won't be hard, but once the sharpshooter's locked in, she's tapping. So, we're here to talk all things SummerSlam, and you have a big match coming up for the Raw Women's Championship against uh, Becky Lynch. Yes. I just wanted to get your thoughts. Now, this is a submission match. Um, it's the disarm her versus the sharpshooter. Uh, what is your plan of attack as to wearing Becky down to apply the patented uh, Hart Family sharpshooter on her? What's great about the sharpshooter is that it's my go-to move. Whenever I've won a championship in WWE, I've won it with the sharpshooter. And it's very, very effective, obviously, over the years. You, you know it from Brett the Hitman Hart, but you look at The Rock, he's used the sharpshooter. Even Trish Stratus, Toronto's own, has used the sharpshooter in the past. And it's, it's a very iconic submission for a reason. It's effective. The women's evolution is in full swing, and the women in WWE, we, we just keep hitting home runs and we're doing mm -hmm. a great job of delivering. And the fans, this is what the fans want. And I, I personally, I'm excited to see what Ember and Bailey are going to do. I'm excited to watch Charlotte versus Trish Stratus. I think that, that match is, you know, I feel like it's queen versus queen, but like Trish Stratus is a woman that inspired me to want to do what I do in WWE today. So to be able to watch these women compete and then to be able to be a part of it myself against Becky Lynch, you know, Becky is arguably one of the greatest female superstars in the history of WWE. The, th mm -hmm. the run that she's had just in the last year has been phenomenal. But Becky built her entire career off of being underestimated and deprived and rising from the ashes. And I, I'm about to do the same thing. And for me, I feel like I've been underestimated my entire career. Mm -hmm. And I've found a lot of strength in proving everyone wrong. And Becky, Becky's bashed Canada, she's bashed my family, she's bashed myself, and um, she feels like there's no repercussions. It's almost like she has such a chip on her shoulder that, you know, she just, it's all about her now. Yeah. And I feel like that's not the Becky Lynch that I was friends with. That wasn't the Becky Lynch that I met, you know, gosh, the first time I met her was in Vancouver, Canada, and um, I met her almost 15 years ago. That wasn't the Becky that I knew. She's just been such a hypocrite. So to be able to tap Becky Lynch out, submit her with the sharpshooter in my home country of Canada would be one of the biggest moments for me, not only in my professional career, but mm -hmm. one of the biggest moments for women's wrestling in WWE. For, for myself and Becky, what I will say about her is that I have so much respect for her, but it reminds me of Brett versus Steve because it's explosive. Their feud was like ours, explosive, but she still respects me and I still respect her, but both of us want to win.